All right, we are in the booth of Yang Xing Shi Li Shi. Yeah. Close? Close. And this is the one that I told you about. See, he says it much better than I do, right? <laughs> and so let's, let me give you like a little bit of background and then we're gonna, we're gonna do some non-scientific experiments here, okay? So come with us as I share the volcanic daysite pots with you. All right, so here's the story. And excuse me if I don't get all the pieces correct, but there's, you know, the whole language issue and Alana's doing a great job uh, translating for me. So I'm gonna try to articulate this as best I can. And so there is a volcanic uh, rock called Dacite, D-A-C-I-T-E. And this is what it looks like. It's similar in looks to obsidian, but obsidian is more uh, glassy and it has a different fracture level. This is, uh, my understanding is it's uh, more ingrained with the rocks and so um, it's similar, but it's different enough. And so what they've done is they found this location in China where they have pulled the day site out. And what they did is they have made these little pots out of it. And these pots hold fluids in it. And they have done scientific experiments and tests. And this is some of the data that they've gleaned from their experiments. And I'm not a scientist. Pizzotta can translate all this for you. I have no idea. I'm just going by what they told me. But what they've done is, through these experiments, they've showed that if you take slightly acidic water and you store it in one of these pots for as little as five minutes, the qualities of the material, the day site, can change that acidic water to be slightly alkaline and so potentially healthier for you. And if you look, there are different styles. They have this kind of smoothed out style. They have this kind of more rough style, which I personally like more. They have cups of it. And then what they've done is they've worked with a Chinese artist and they have created some really, really, to me, beautiful pots here that incorporate the man-made element of a, a actual pot that contains liquid with the natural um, uh, roughness of the outside of it. And they put it on display. What I'd like to do, Elena, can we have him bring one of these out? Let's take one of these out so that you can see the fine work. And this is this is the artist who actually worked on it. And you can see that these pieces are certainly not cheap. But look at look at how delicate these are. Wonderful. I, I just love that. I mean it's so pretty. But then look how fine and look how delicate that is. It is truly kind of a piece, well-known artist. And if I had the money, I'd buy one of those in a heartbeat. Look at that, isn't that cool? I mean, it's things like this that just, it gets me so excited about being at a show like this. I mean, I've never seen or even heard of anything like that. And just wonderful. Can we take that one out? Take a look at that one. Yeah. Look at that. And I'm going to actually turn the light on here to help illuminate it a little bit. Look at how thin and how fine that is. That is wonderful. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm joking. They, they gave me a, a dried plum to enjoy when I, when I first came in here. Okay, so my friends here have told me that Voila. Beyond just affecting water, it also affects alcohol and it makes alcohol smoother and leaves you less prone to hangovers. <laughs> so what is what is this liquor that we're drinking here? It's a white alcohol. White alcohol. Yes. From 
Liao Tai Zhen. Liao Tai Zhen. Liao Tai Zhen. From Guizhou. Okay. So it's almost like a Chinese vodka. Yes. Okay. Exactly. All right. So I think we're doing an experiment. Okay. So first one is. <laughs> Okay, so how long has it been in this pot? Five minutes, okay. All right. So we're going to try this first. Am I drinking alone? Of course. Of course? Okay. Okay, okay I'm going to. Okay. 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 Oh. <laughs> okay. It's not the best flavored, but it's okay. Okay, so uh, cherry to cleanse the palate. Yes. You've got to be careful. Everything they feed you here has seeds. All right. Now this is the same, but it's been sitting in the daysite pot for. At least five minutes. Oh, yeah. The color is also different. This one is cleaner. And this is. Okay, it's debatable. <laughs> debatable. Okay. So, actually, um, let's see. I'm going to turn the camera around. Okay, let me. So now we are going for drink number two. <laughs> He's waving goodbye to me. <laughs> he says, drink that and you'll hit the floor. <laughs> Okay, cheers. Cheers. Okay. Is it different? It is smoother. It's smoother off the top. Yeah, smoother. And he assures me that if I drink all night out of one of these, I'll wake up feeling like a, a, a fresh baby from a nap. So that is it. And that is from... Yang Sheng Shi Li Shi. Not even close, not even close. But I appreciate it. Thank you very much, my friend. <laughs> okay, so we're not done with the experiments here. We have taken what? Is, what is that? Is that iodine he put in it? Uh, it's. Or is it a, just a dye? Yeah. Okay, so it's some kind of uh, similar to what the pool people would do in terms of, uh, oh, it's measuring pH. Okay, so it's measuring pH. So they put something in the water there, um, and I imagine they're going to be test strips that they're going to put in. Or, oh, okay, this is going to be interesting. All right, so he's dropping some pieces of the day side into this, and this is what my friend just broke off. So I think what we're waiting to see is a color change. So the drops he put in it, which I maybe believe is iodine. Oh, already we're seeing that change. It's going a little bit green there. So the orange is starting to change into green. And maybe if he agitates it a little bit. Okay, I'm starting to see a little bit of blue show up there. So it's certainly changing the color. It's gonna change about two. To five minutes. Two to five minutes. We're not gonna we're not gonna make our viewers watch this for so long, yeah. but basically what what it's doing is it is altering the pH balance of that water. So they put some drops in, which I'm assuming is was originally driving the pH balance closer to the 4.0 5.0 range, and then by putting these pieces of uh, dayside in it, it's taken it back over to the. 8.0, 9.0 range, and I'm, I, you know, I'm, oh, look at that. Did we see yeah. that? Look at that, just live, it changed blue. Oh, and so that would be more alkaline or more basic, less acidic. Okay, super. That was really interesting. That is apparent proof, or at least according to this test, I don't know how accurate or scientific it would be, that um, it changes the pH balance. Okay. So now he... Alcohol of happiness. Alcohol, alcohol of happiness. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay, so in Korea we call these uh, uh, techu. Techu? I don't know what they call it in Korea, in uh, Chinese. It's hong sao. Hong sao, yeah. So explain to him that... I grew up eating this. Yeah. 
从小吃这长大的，因为他妈妈是小碗儿。你这王二好，这样，你说这是幸福酒。Alcohol of heaven. 哎，客人。Alana, I think it's your turn. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I don't. Just a, just a little. Feel it. Feel it. Oh, you're so good. Oh, you're so good. <laughs> All right, so I guess that experiment didn't go so great with Elena. <laughs> It's because I don't drink more. Oh my god, he's giving her more. It's more, it's more spicy. <laughs> okay, she's hating this part of the job. No, 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 no. I've had plenty. <laughs> It's happened. <laughs> That's okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs>